This is me, thinking as usual about Dave. Dave is super. Dave can do anything. Oh, he's great. He really is. When pow, up pops my fairy godmother with a I'll give you three wishes routine. Wish number one is easy. Next, I wish we were both at the seaside. Come on, Dave, let's swim, I say. It's just not my scene, man, says Dave. What he really meant was he couldn't swim. <whistles> I've still got one wish left, remember? Meet Mike. He right. swims like a fish. Yes, I wish. I wish I didn't keep losing me birds. Then learn to swim, young man. Learn to swim. If you can't swim, ask about lessons at your local swimming baths. Do learn to swim. It could save your life. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. A short demonstration of lifting heavy objects without strain. Feet about a foot apart, knees bent, straight back and down like so. And now, the wrong way. Straight legs and bent back. Concalls, injury, no calls, injury, no calls, injury. When he left school, Dennis Trout, like most of all, to clown about. But on factory floor, the tricks of Dennis to his mates became a menace. For instance, a compressed air hose, a useful tool, but deadly handled by a fool. For metal filings in the eye can very often blind a guy. To throw a rag may seem fun, yet cause a mate to crush a thumb. So on factory floor, don't be a burk. Keep your tricks for after work. This chap is a fiddler. Uh, no, not that kind. Let me explain. This is a machine, quite harmless when operated by a trained operator. Oh, most impressive. Thank you, sir. Now, the fiddler has not been told or taught to use the machine, but he's going to fiddle. Fiddle with this, fiddle with that, and... Oh, dear. So, at work, don't fiddle with machinery you haven't been trained to use. Charlie says that if ever you see a box of matches lying around, tell Mummy because they can hurt you. One day when my dad went fishing, he took Charlie and me along. While he was fishing, we started having fun with the puddles. <laughs> Shouted, come back here. But just then, Charlie tried to do an extra big jump and he went over the edge and into the water. Charlie nearly drowned. It was very lucky for him, he caught on the line. <laughs> Charlie says next time we go fishing, we should stay very close to Dad where he can look after us. And he hopes that when you go near the water, you'll stay close to a grown-up too. Charlie says that stoves are dangerous to go close to because there are so many hot things there that can hurt you.
<laughs> Charlie says he knows now that it's dangerous to pull the tablecloth because the hot water from the teapot hurt him very much. Charlie and I were in the park. 